Welcome back and welcome to any new players watching. This video is for you. I know that a lot of the Legends pinball systems are getting sold, which means there's likely some newcomers to pinball. And I wanted to offer five tips for those that are new to the game that might make it a little easier to get acclimated, a little easier to score, and hopefully make the game more fun. All right, so here's five tips for the newcomers to pinball. So the first tip I have, the very first tip is to learn the table and learn the rules. Each table has its own code or own methods of scoring points that aren't just hitting the bumpers and the slings and things like that. And it took me a while to figure it out because when I first started playing pinball, I would just whack the ball constantly without a whole lot of regard on where I was hitting it. Every now and then there'd be a real obvious target that I would aim for and that was cool. But once I learned that tables have their own specific rules and things you're supposed to do, boy, it changed the game for me. And I know that's very basic, and if, and if you're way more advanced than that, then this video is not for you. But for beginners, that was a big step for me. On the AT Games Legends Pinball, you can hit the home button, and that table's rules are right here. And it'll tell you exactly what you need to do, how you earn the points, all those specific things. So something to keep in mind, learn the rules. Here's an example, the loop. Hit the right ramp within 20 seconds to achieve a loop. You get bonus points for that. Multi-ball, hit the drop targets around the pop bumper to light multi-ball. Lock a ball to the eject hole when the multi-ball lamp is lit. Things like that, those are the things that I didn't really know. Lots of points can be gained just by learning the rules. The number one trick in your bag should be cradling. Holding the ball to control it. It's a whole world of difference when you're sitting there with the ball stopped, hitting what you want. Uh, before I learned that, and believe me, I, I played a long time before I started cradling the ball on a regular basis. I know it's simple, but I was always trying to hit the ball as it was rolling down to the flipper or coming down, and I'm hitting it on the move. Learn to hold the ball and cradle the ball, and it's a lot easier to hit your targets. So the next one is what I call a dead drop. And the idea on a dead drop is to leave the flippers alone and let the ball hit it and it'll bounce gently over to the other flipper where you can control it, like you just saw there. And I'll do another one here for you. Okay. One more. All right, that's what I call a dead drop. Getting the ball under control will allow you to evaluate your targets and make an aimed shot. Great table here, by the way. All right, on to the next one. So, what happens when you catch the ball and you cradle it in the flipper and you wanna hit something, but what you wanna hit is on the other side so you have the wrong flipper chosen. For instance, I don't want to hit it over here. I want to hit it over there. So I need to get it to this flipper. What I used to do is I would just hit the ball up and, and try and get it back to this one, but often or not, I'd lose the ball. So the post pass is how you do that. And you do that by when you're cradling it, you do a quick tap off the base of the flipper with the idea of hitting the post and having it bounce over to the other flipper where you can control it and then aim where you want. Okay. Good tip here for you, and this dovetails with another tip I had. Remember I told you the importance of knowing the rules of a table? Well, this table, Congo, has a skill shot where you want to hit these little drop targets off your plunge. So the tip for this one is learn how to do the soft plunge. Not every time you hit the ball do you have to give it a full-on plunge where you blast it up. So this is a perfect example. If you did that, it'd go off there and you'd miss your potential for a skill shot. So by just doing a little half plunge, you can do your skill shot. All right? Hey, and my final tip, just have some fun. You know, pinball can be very frustrating, and it's designed to be that way. 
the idea is to get your quarters. So just know that many games aren't going to go your way and have, have a good time anyway. It was a perfect example. Appreciate it. I hope these tips were a little helpful for some potential new players out there. Feel free to comment. Leave me any thoughts you have. We'll see you at the arcade, guys.